But so then, so, okay, so the, the first question, the first idea of these models of ours is space is made of these, you know, connected sort of atoms of space. The next idea is space is all there is. There's nothing except for this space. So in traditional ideas in physics, people have said there's space, it's kind of a background, and then there's matter, all these particles, electrons, all these other things, which exist in space, mm -hmm. right? But in this model, one of the key ideas is there's nothing except space. So in other words, everything that, has, that exists in the universe is a feature of this hypergraph. So how can that possibly be? Well, the way that works is that there are certain uh, structures in this hypergraph where you say that little twisty knotted thing, we don't know exactly how this works yet, but, but we, we have sort of idea about how it works mathematically. This sort of twisted knotted thing, that's the core of an electron. This thing over there, that has this different form, that's something else. So the different peculiarities of the structure of this graph are the very things that uh, we think of as the particles inside the space, but in fact, right. it's just it's the property just features of the space. Of the space. Mind-blowing, first of all. that right. It's, it's mind-blowing, and we'll probably talk about it, in its simplicity and beauty. Yes, I think it's very beautiful. <laughs> I mean, this is I'm but, okay. So, I'm, that, but that's space, and then there's another concept we, we didn't really kind of mention. But uh, you think it of computation as a tr like a transformation. Let's talk about time in a second. Let's let's sure. just let's just I mean, on, on the subject of space, the you know, there's this question of kind of what you know. There's this idea. There is this hypergraph. It represents space and it represents everything that's in space. The features of that hypergraph, you can say certain features in this part we do know, certain features of the hypergraph represent the presence of energy, for example, or the presence of mass or momentum. And we know what the features of the hypergraph that represent those things are. But it's all just the same hypergraph. So one thing you might ask is, you know, if you just look at this hypergraph and you say, and we're going to talk about sort of what the hypergraph does, but if you say, you know, how much of what's going on in this hypergraph is things we know and care about, like particles and atoms and electrons and all this kind of thing, and how much is just the background of space. Mm -hmm. So it turns out, so far as in one rough estimate of this, or everything that we care about in the universe is only one part in 10 to the 120 of what's actually going on. The vast majority of what's happening is purely things that maintain the structure of space. That, in other words, that the things that are the features of space that are the things that we consider notable, like the presence of particles and so on, that's a tiny little piece of froth on the top of all this activity that mostly is just intended to, you know, mostly, I can't say intended, there's no intention here, that just maintains the structure of space. It, let, me, let me load that in. It's, uh, it just makes me feel so good as a human being. <laughs> well, to, to be it, the froth on the one in the ten to the one hundred and twenty or something of well, and the, also just humbling um, how in this mathematical framework how much work needs to be done on the infrastructure, right? Uh, of yes, that's our universe, the, right? To maintain the infrastructure of our universe is a lot of work. We are we are merely writing a little tiny things on top of that infrastructure. 